Hello, I'm putting together this quick video just to show some of the petrified wood that I find here in Central Texas. I take it home and I polish it. Some of the pieces like this one don't take a great shine. I believe it has to do with the silica content within the wood when it gets petrified. So no matter how hard I try, I cannot get a mirror-like finish on some of these. Other pieces, I do not tumble until they're perfect. I leave in some of the natural cracks and grooves and imperfections. This piece has some interesting agatized veins in it, you can just see. So I found all of these in the Austin area along riverbanks for the most part. Although some of these pieces I did find just hiking through the woods. Here's a piece that has these undercutting areas that no doubt lack the same silica that the shiny areas have. Still cool though, you can tell it's wood. But some areas just will not polish. Here's a piece that did take a great polish. As you can see, it has some nice color in it. I hope this is coming through on this video. It's not quite perfect. There's a fracture in it somewhere, as I recall. I can't find it now. I'm sure it's in here somewhere. Wait, there it is, yeah. So you can see it there on the edge. So it's not 100% uh, perfectly smooth, which is the way I, I generally like to make my stones when I polish them, but it, it's okay. This is one of my, my most recent tumbled pieces of petrified wood. I love the grain in this. It's not 100% perfectly smooth. It does show some of that grain pattern in there. I've been watching back these videos I'm now making and putting on YouTube and realizing that I'm moving much too quickly. So I'm trying to train myself to move slowly with these stones. <laughs> and for nothing else, just to help this damn iPhone focus. Here's a beautiful large piece, look at this thing. This one probably tumbled in the coarse grit for two or three months. It's not perfect, you do see some flaws, but it's close. It is a beauty. That is a beautiful chunk of wood. I currently have a video I'm getting ready to put out on YouTube that will show a piece like this getting polished. I found something similar that's it's in the pipe. Here, now this one is just about flawless. There's one little something going on there, but other than that, and I believe this is palm wood. Beautiful shine. A terrific pattern in there. Look at that. I hope that's coming through. Yeah, this is a this is a gorgeous rock. Oh, and check this one out. I think I showed this one on my, one of my first videos, but it's um, worth repeating, repeating, because it is just stunning. Look at the color. I remember the day I found this. It was along the Colorado River on a big rock bar. Didn't look anything like this. I knew it was wood, so I got it home and got it tumbling. And I noticed early on that it was going to have all these colors in it. Don't normally find these colors on the wood here in uh, Central Texas. Yeah, this one is one of my favorites, one of my all-time favorites. Here's an example of a piece that just didn't take a shine. Some of them will, will be like this. There's nothing I can do. Just probably the silica content. 
because these all get polished in the same method. It's still a cool piece, though. You can tell it's, a, it's wood. It's, it's a piece of petrified wood. Just some other little pieces here. So yes, these are very common around here. I got lots more of this stuff ready to tumble or cut or just leave as is. So we may not have all the great agates that they have up north or out west, but we do have our share of petrified wood. And sometimes it can take a beautiful shine. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quick video showing and just some of the wood that we find here in Central Texas. Well, it's dark. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this.